So I'm getting a walk in this morning. Today's going to be an interesting day. Uh, I have a graduation party to go to. And, um, sorry, there's a car going by there. And, uh, anyway, last time I was at a graduation party, it was my daughter's graduation party a couple weeks ago. It was the last time that I ate any carbs. I had some macaroni and cheese, and I had a piece of cake. Since then, it's been two weeks, no carbs. Feeling great, better than I had. Losing both weight and body fat i can literally see my stomach getting smaller believe it or not um, that's been the one spot that i've had the most fat still left to lose and um i can tell there's a difference and like i said i feel great i've been happier have more energy and so forth so with the graduation party today my plan is I've been eating once a day, doing OMAD. So my plan is that hopefully I will be hungry enough to eat before the party, maybe an hour before the party or so, and then um, I won't be as tempted at the party. And that's the plan at least. And I will check back in with y'all later and let you know how I did at the party. All right, um, it's a little bit before the graduation party that I gotta go to, and I'm not fully hungry, but it has been 25 hours. I'm a little hungry, so I'm cooking up a 24 ounce ribeye here that I just got from Costco. I got a whole big thing of it and cut up. Got 10 steaks at about 24 ounces each steak out of it that I cut up, and um, I'm gonna cook this up and eat it before we go to the graduation party. So I am back from the graduation party. I survived the party without eating anything. Uh, let me tell you, there was cupcakes, there was cake, there was Doritos, potato chips, uh, tortilla chips, uh, baked beans. They had um, Mission Barbecue, so there was some brisket there and pulled pork, but I had already ate, so I didn't need to eat any of that. Then they had like macaroni and cheese and just other bad stuff in I was not even tempted at all. I was nice and full from my steak that I ate just a little bit before that, and it didn't affect me. I mean, my my wife and daughter um, sat there with me, and they each had a plate of food, and they had uh, cupcakes, and then there were some cookies that they got, and then popcorn, stuff like that. And, of course, they had some of the mac and cheese and pulled pork or something like that, too. But... Um, it didn't, it didn't bother me at all. I got a bottle of water that they had and I just drank some water and I was perfectly fine. And you were there, I don't know, about an hour or two. So, um, it was good. I, I felt pretty good that I wasn't even tempted at all. So definitely a win for me. Um, I did go about 25 hours before I ate that steak earlier today. And um, I did document that in the video, so that was earlier here in the video. Um, and I'll probably have a video coming up soon where I'm going to uh, just quickly show what I did when I went to Costco. Um, I do have a butcher box coming in a few days, so I didn't really need a lot of meat, but I ended up buying a, a big thing of um, ribeye. And um, it was like 14 pounds or something like that. And then I cut it up into different steaks. Um, they're all about 22 to 24 ounces, which is like the perfect amount for me because that's about what I normally eat in a meal. And therefore, you know, what I eat for the day. So it worked out pretty good. So make sure that you uh, hit that like button and uh, share this video with others. Share it on social media with your friends and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and can, you can continue to follow my carnivore journey i also will do other videos promoting the carnivore diet